yesterday, you guys know the situation I have in my family, right? Just, I, I want to talk about this real quick. So I, I don't really talk about it often. A lot of people don't know that I do have a family outside of essentially patrons. Hey, let me rephrase that. I do have a family outside of some of the very select few I speak to. Bree, Bree's father, my son Kane, and that's kind of it. There's a long, there's a long story that goes with this, right? There's a very, very long story, and the story goes something like this. I had kids in 1996. Give you perspective, I was born in 79, okay? My first son was born in 96, April. My set of twins were born in January in 97. Now, from 96 to 97, I was in and out of my house. My dad kicked me out all the time. I'm just going to give you a Reader's Digest version of this. My dad kicked me out all the time, so I'll go live underneath the boardwalk in Seaside and Point Pleasant. Maybe that's the way, reason why I love the boardwalk so much. So I did this uh, for years. I didn't have really a place to stay. My mom ended up taking me in, and that's how I got close to my mom down in Old Bridge. Okay? So... I get, I get close to her and I'm staying with my mom and my dad absolutely despises me. My ex with the kid, Kane, is staying with my dad. Uh, we end up meeting up, we knock the boot, she gets pregnant and then uh, boom, she has the twins. But as soon as she has the twins, she ends up moving out of my dad's house and um, living with her mom, okay? Fine, three kids. Fast forward. I'm young, right? I was born in 79. I, I'm not giving an excuse. Look, I'm saying I'm 15, 16 years old, okay? I, I don't know shit. I'm just trying to bang as many girls as possible. People would make jokes. They would say, man, you're going to be paying child support the rest of your life. And then I would spit that joke back to them and be like, yeah, but at least I'd be done by 32, right? You you still paying child support at 45. I'd be done at 32. No matter what job I got, I won't be retired. Don't, don't throw shade on me. So I had all these kids and I was young. Now, fast forward a couple of years, I joined the military in 99, actually 98. I take that back. I went to basic training in 98, okay? Then I was a reservist for about six months and I went active duty. Why did I go active duty? Because I was just a deadbeat, right? I was, I was just trying to find shit and there was this girl that I really liked and I said, ooh, wait, and she had a kid of her own. I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. She had a kid of her own. So I was like, I, you know, I can't even take care of my own kids. I don't know how I'm going to take care of yours. But her pussy was good. So I was like, I don't, I don't honestly, uh, whatever I do with the kid is just extra anyway. If I take him to the park once, I I know I'm going to get me some that night. And, and it was that simple, right? It was just different goals at different times. And uh, this was after me being a reservist, of course, or during me being a reservist. And it got to a point where I was like, I got to marry this woman because she is fine as shit. You know, that's all I care about is looks. So once we once we got together, it was like, okay, if we get married, I don't know where we're going to go. And I was like, I could just go active duty because they give you like a, a house on the base. And I did that. And boom, that's done. That's done. Now, during this whole time that I was with this woman, I did see my kids. Let me rephrase. I did see my kid. Kane, I've always been in his life. Always. The twins, not so much. There's a long story behind that. And I don't think I have the time today nor the inclination to break that down for you. But you guys saw my son, I guess my son, and then the twin son uh, in that stream. It was the three of us without the daughter, Alexis. So I've tried to be in their life, man. I have. I've, 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 I've tried. I, whether it was hiring my daughter to come work for me, whether it was giving her a place to live, whether I, the, the one son, Tyler, I could never get close to. He just fucking hated me. Because while I was active duty in the military, their grandmother, okay, not on, on my side, their grand, grandmother, Tina's mother, would tell them all the time that I died in combat. No shit. I kid you not. Legal documentation, she would state that I died in combat. I'm in my, like, I, I'm stateside in Fort Drum. I didn't die in combat. I'm not even in combat. I'm in, in New York State. So, but anyway, she would do this. And it made, it, me being in the military made it very difficult. How am I going to go see my kids in a different state, right? How? How? They're in Ohio. I'm in New York. What am I going to do? Drive every weekend? Can't go day to day. I, and I'm not making an excuse. I'm just putting it out there. So, whatever. I was never really around for them. Then I ended up getting deployed, uh, all the other shit. Then I was in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. I was in Seattle, Washington. So no, no matter where I was at, it always made it difficult to see kids that I couldn't be around. Now, I get what you're going to say as well. What about you going there? Fuck that noise. Uh, I, I, the military didn't pay me enough to get on a plane. And and plus, she she wouldn't let me see the kids anyway. Mary, she's a cunt. She ended up dying of cancer. Thank Jesus. Uh, so 
she, she was just a nasty woman. It just didn't, it was not possible. She thought I was a piece of shit father, you know, being in the military, not being around for the kids. Whatever. I'm going somewhere with this. So my sister messages me yesterday, right? She's like, hey, bro, how you been? Now, anybody that was around during when me and Brie were getting married, uh, I talked to my sister on the phone. And I, th I think we did it like on a, it was either vocals, or Twitch. It was probably a Twitch, late night Twitch. Maybe it's vocals. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. She, I, I had asked her, I said, do you want to come to the wedding? And I asked her and I asked my dad. Now, I didn't ask my ex with the... Now, I asked my son if he wants to come, but he wanted me to pay. I'm, I'm not doing that. You are 30 years old. You can figure out how to get here yourself. Just saying. I didn't ask the twins. I asked my sister. And my sister yesterday, uh, I, I guess she had a change of heart. She wanted to message me yesterday. She said, I miss you, bro. Let me read this message to you. Now, me and my sister do not speak. This all kind of, I, now, now I told you that backstory. Now let me tell you what she sent me. She sends me a message 11.44 last night. Hey, I miss you, bro. I said, yeah, I honestly don't have a lot to say, Alicia. I asked you to show up to one of the biggest events of my life and you couldn't show up. I mean, I forgive you and all, but I will never forget it. Gonna sound mean, but I kind of wrote you all, you at you off at that point. You and Ken. Ken is my father. That's what he is. Piece of shit. So when I bought my sister a house, a lot of you guys know this backstory, bought her a house, bought her a car, uh, buys Kane all this shit, um, whatever, right? And then this is her response. I didn't reach out with a tit for tat. If you're inquiring, the main reasons was finances and my career. I don't have the personal days to take the funds or the provisions for my children within the week's notice. It wasn't a week's notice. I had to go back to this. It was actually six months in advance. It wasn't a week's notice. Uh, I, it's, um, she said, it's unfortunate that you wrote me off and daddy off. This is where, this is where she wants to start taking pokes. This is why I don't talk to my fucking family. It's unfortunate that you wrote me off and daddy off and everyone else off all through these years of your life, your children and aunt Carol, who is dying to be part of your life for all these years. I see you're sad and I see you're hurting. I see how I feel through all the years that we were close, but I understand if the love is not the same. Everyone else, my response, you guys were there for air. That's great. She's your family. My children, the twins, they were by blood and that's it. I tried to get close to them. Funny how you're trying to drag them into it. Me and Kane are fine. I was and will never be close to those twins. That's on them, not me. I've done my part. Kind of like how Ken only, Ken, my father, kind of like how Ken, uh, where was it? Kind of like how Ken only reached out to me when he couldn't get in touch with Kane. You hazers remember this, right? We were trying to look through all social media, trying to find out where he was. Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, uh, phone calls. We were trying to do all the shit. Yeah, that right there. That's when my dad reached out to me right there. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, I said, fuck Aunt Carol, too. You see, I'm hurting. The picture is sat This is about the picture I put on my Facebook, by the way. The picture is satire. If you knew anything about me, you would get the satire behind it. There's a fucking rainbow on my face. Seems like the only person out of touch is you, sweetheart, not me. I'm perfectly happy. I'm perfectly happy. Matter of fact, I'm fantastic. Have a beautiful wife and a beautiful life. I didn't reach out to you. You reached out to me. Here's her response. I reached out to you because you're my brother. And there's a reality of the time that was spent growing up and a bigger reality of the loss of time throughout the years. One thing that sticks with me was you told me that you couldn't stand the way I raised my kids were when you were not raising your own. Or when you were not, weren't even raising your own. I'm in the military, mind you. Uh, that was years ago. Whether you believed it or not, you just said it to hurt me. Could it be that it was just said and it hurt you? That we're just going to rule that out. Okay. I still was able to see past that and often wanted you to be part of my life. There's no need for you to throw stones at me. Meet those stones. You guys want me to go back and read that again? Meet those stones. Meet those stones. Bitch, you brought my kids into it. Like you, I'm throwing, okay. There's no need for you to throw stones at me and tell me I miss your wedding when you have never even been there for me in any facet of my life nor my children. You guys remember when my niece, her daughter was at my house in the fucking pool for a week, taking pictures around my house? You guys remember that? See, my sister, yo, you can't make this shit up. Like you, I've got physical proof that your kids have been to my house. I've got physical proof that they stayed here. I fed them. 
So I've never been part of them for the life. What about when I'll pick up Carissa and she would come hang out at my business? Remember that? Or what about the lives, what she would do with me and a come, yo. Oh my God, dude. Okay, whatever. Um, in addition to my career finances and providing for my children to come to Florida, I had every, I had very short notice of invitation and was offered to sleep on the floor in your home. Yes, you were. Well, at that time, people were more important than you. You understand? So that's, that's I don't want to say that's my bad. That's just a, that's a good decision at the time, a bad decision overall. Uh, that made it seem like you were reaching out because you're supposed to, not because it came from your heart. That's right. That's right. Yes, that's the answer. I reached out because I was supposed to. Yes. Yes. Because your family, I'm, you're supposed to do that. It's not from the heart. No. I'm more irritated that I asked you to come out of respect for you being family and you didn't show up. That's when I take it to heart. That's how that works. Okay, let's move on. You're tough on the outside, but I know what you went through. I see your post and the sadness bleeds through you. So you're saying a guy that flips over on a motorcycle and starts on fire, that's my sadness? No. That's just the post on the internet. You saying when I post a dude that gets jizz on his face and he thinks it's Parmesan cheese, that's my life? That represents me? No. That represents a dude that gets jizz on his fucking face. It ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> you see sadness in my post? What post do you see sadness in? Because I said life is hard. Yo, for the 50th time. The life is hard is people complaining that life is hard and they're part of the LGBTQ. There's a fucking rainbow on my face. It is satire. I, my life is, is no harder than the next person. Moving forward. It pains me your caption above says a hard life which resembles your picture clearly. Your next video is a clear representation of air. In fact, I almost thought it was her. This is fair. I didn't look at it this way, but when she brought it up, I definitely see air in that picture of the girl saying, I like my whiskey need. I recapped a lot of what I remember you from the last 35 years and decided to reach out to you. But at this point, and not speaking for a year and losing touch with each other over many of the years, just not, not just in relation to the wedding, he said that you wrote me off and your message is clear. There's nothing else for me to really share with you then. My, my last response. I've never been there for your children. Your kid came to my house. I've spoken to her many times. You remember what you want to remember. I never showed up to your weddings because you've never been married. Also, you never asked me to come like I did you. I wasn't there for my, my kids because I spent 13 years of my life in the army. You seem to forget that little part there. By the time I got out, they were 16 years old. Alexis worked for me at 17 at my business. You have literally, you have no idea what, you literally have no idea what in the shit you're talking about. You, you didn't have a short notice. You had a six month notice, Alicia. I agree. I'll see you on the other side if we both make it there. So um, let me, let me, let me, let me sum this up. Let me tell you something. So <clears throat> I have always, I've, I've, I've always looked at it like this. Now you could judge me all you want. I, I don't give a shit. I've had kids, right? I've done things that I, I don't want to say I'm not proud of, but I've made decisions in my life that led me to where I'm at today, obviously. Those kids, those kids are just that. They're children that came from my testicles. As cold as that may seem, it's no different. If, if How do you love something that you've never seen? That's a legit question to anybody out there. If you have a kid at one month old, one month old, and the, you're stripped of those rights, how do you love them? Fuck that. How do you, you go get a car, you buy it, you never see it, you never sit in it. How do you know you love that car? Granted, that's an inanimate object. So I, I don't know if that, that comparison is fair, but how do you love something you don't know? I'm just, ju I, I, it sounds like I'm trying to justify it. I'm not because I'm at home with myself. If my daughter, every time, okay, there's more to the story than what I'm saying, right? The, the biggest nail in the coffin was quite literally the nail in the coffin. When my daughter died, my daughter, um, suicide, killed herself. My twins could not fucking show up 
You want me to just forget that? Just, just throw that out the window. The one that I was the closest to, now Aaron Alexis spoke. Aaron Tyler, not so much. Kane showed up. Alexis said she was going to show up and didn't. I'm supposed to just forget that? <sighs> Keep in mind that my daughter is also having kids with her fucking cousin, right? They have like all the kids have Down syndrome. I'm not proud of that. I know, Jay, you shouldn't, you shouldn't judge. You're, you're right. You're right. I should not, but I am. I, I am ashamed that you are my daughter. Whether it's you not coming to Aaron's funeral or the fact that all your kids and you, not only are they their cousin, not only are they your cousin, they're your nephews or nephews, nieces, and daughters. That's fucking weird, bro. Like, I'm sorry if you have four titles and four titles, not some shit you just made up either. Like documented titles for your children. I cannot be part of this. This is some Maury Povich, Jerry Springer horseshit. I get what you're going to say, Jay, that's so far right of you. That's fine. I will not be liberal. I will not be progressive. I I, I do not accept that. Sorry. Nope. Mm. Even if I did accept you back, for, forgiving if you... It, it, I'm a very forgivable, per, forgivable person. I'll forgive most people. I forgave all the people that said it was my fault that my daughter killed herself. I, whatever. I forgive you. It's all good. God bless. But I cannot forgive somebody that every time I talk to them, they bring that shit up. I'm not bringing it up. Yo, the last message me and Alexis had, she was like, yeah. So, you know, the situation with Aaron, what the fuck, man? It's been like three, why, why bring that shit back up? Everything was fine. Yeah, well, you know, I, I know every time we see each other, you make it weird. You just made it weird. So yeah, I don't talk to them, but my sister dragging it in. The, the point I'm trying to make is I've got a fucked up life backwards, right? The closest one that I was closest to, I ended up losing, right? Bad, I don't want to say it's bad decisions, but I've had bad shit happen. And I can tell you that people that I found online, online are more family than people I was born into. How's that possible? I don't think family... Yes, in a traditional sense, family is by blood. You ever notice that you could create a business with a friend and it be successful? You ever notice that? You see it all the time. Wells Fargo. There's just one off the top of my head. It's not Wells and Wells, right? It's not, it's, that's just one. That's one example. I could show you millions. I don't know off any off the top of my head. You get the point. You could create a very successful business with a friend. You will have no qualms, no issues. You might have a little bit of spats here and there, but the second you try to create a business with the family, and I know what you're going to say is the Waltons. No, look up Sam Walton. He did that shit alone. Uh, and, and then family got involved because they were like, ooh, money. You try to create a business with a family member, nine times out of 10, you're going to lose. You're gonna, it, so, something's going to fail. Whether you're gonna bump uglies on 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 money, whether you're gonna bump uglies on on you think bump uglies like sex, and that should have made more clear. Uh, well, uh, if you're my daughter, you're having sex with your brother. Uh, so if you, <laughs> <laughs> I can make that joke. Uh, but if you are fighting about money, if you're fighting about something else, regardless of what it is, you. That business will not last with family members. Nope. And I found that my relationship with my father, look, this deep rooted. And you could say it's deep rooted hatred. It's not hatred. I am a very forgiving person. Very. I've had people that I've been friends with just in the past six months, six months that were at my, my wedding that just abandoned me. At my wedding. Part of my wedding. Part. They got their own priorities. So the message I could give you is, I, you probably don't want to take any advice from me. I can tell you this. If you don't want to get hurt, take advice from me. I've made some shit decisions in my life and I don't regret any of them. None. None. I don't regret any of them because I wouldn't have learned if I thought better about them, no, because I gave that a lot of thought. 
No, I don't, I don't regret any of it. I only regret the things I didn't do, which kind of sucks because you can't go back and redo them uh, or, or actually do them, not redo them because you never did them to begin with. The only thing that I would change out of all these years is not getting close to the kids. Nope. 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 I want to say be a better father to air, but I, that was it. I mean, I saw every weekend. I, I did everything underneath the table. I was firm. I was fair. Yeah, I don't have any regrets, man. Now, my sister, on the other hand, has got regrets because she's out here messaging me. I could, and it's not about being stubborn. It's not. No, 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 no. I'm not stubborn. I made it very clear in that first post that I've written you off, but I get it. I forgive you. I, I've written you. You don't, you, you just, you just, uh, you just somebody on the street to me. Not even. If my sister was on fire, I wouldn't piss on her. I wouldn't even waste the propel that's in my fridge that I haven't drank in six months to put her out on fire. Sounds cold. With all the people that I've lost in my life, I can learn to disconnect pretty pretty quickly. I think that's part of a grieving process when you lose somebody that dies. You have to learn to disconnect, which is why I could talk about heirs' death like it's just nothing. You have to learn to disconnect. Otherwise, those things will hold you back forever. You'll look back and you'll say, what could I have done to make this different? How could I have been a better man? That doesn't make me cold. Not at all. Not at all. Because it makes me learn from it. And it's what I do from the point of learning from it to make sure that it doesn't happen again, which is why I will never have another child. Because I realized no matter who's at fault, I fucked up there. And once you can come to terms with things that you've done and you can accept them, you grow from that. You don't. The best houses are the ones that get hit by a hurricane and you start from the ground up rebuilding it. You don't fix just the roof. It's like a, a mirror that's cracked. You can't, you could can put it back together. But I guarantee you there's going to be parts of the reflections that aren't right. The only advice I could give you is make better life choices. And if the choices you made are not good, reflect back on them, not through that broken mirror. And then think about all the shit that you've endured. Become better than everybody else around you, even if they all say that it can't be done, prove them wrong. Stay beautiful.